We continue to preview the 2022 college football season here on Midwest Sportsnet, and today's stop is Dillon, Montana. We get to visit with the head coach for the Montana Western Bulldogs, Coach Ryan Norse, in his ninth season with the program. Coach, eight and four overall, trip to the playoffs last year, seven and three, three-way tie for the Frontier Conference title. Uh, I, I think that sounds like a, a solid year there, but how do you build on that? Where are you right now? Kids have already reported, I believe. Yeah, we're moving into a, a practice three to today, and and uh, yeah, I, I would say I, I would classify it as a as a solid year. You know, we were able to um, overcome some self inflicted adversity at the start of the season, and then you know really finish strong towards the end, and we're able to um, you know s- maintain the focus we needed to maintain and and keep winning at the end that that's really what it's about is is you you have to win um and we, we were able to do that I, maybe other folks focused on other things we just focused on winning and um winning the game in hand and yeah it panned out well the playoff experience was challenging but awesome uh play one of the top football teams in the country right out the gate and and uh you know first time some of our guys here in montana had ever flown on a airplane and to, to go out there and first class place great conference outstanding football team it it was fun we didn't compete at the level we would have um liked to compete at but the experience was the experience was was good and it was a great football team they they're hard to compete against at the level you'd like to compete against well, coach, playing in that playoff game, I know you're right. That that that's the way to to end things is to still be playing, you know, in the postseason and sure. and continue winning. You have an opportunity, it looks like, to have at least a repeat performance, if not take it a step further. And and I think it starts with the quarterback position, John Jund coming back. We had him as one of the top returning quarterbacks in the NIIA, and I think that uh, the numbers definitely speak to that. More than 3,100 passing yards, 33 touchdowns, rushed for more than 400 yards, had nine more TDs on the ground. I mean, that's a, that's a great place to start. Yeah, you know, you, in modern football, I mean, you, you really – if you have a dynamic guy at quarterback, you you have you have more opportunities to be successful. John's been a, a dynamic player for for us, uh, for sure, Hall of Famer here at Montana Western, and and uh, he's done a great job this year of improving on the details. You know, once you've been a two three year starter and had success, uh, you know, there's already things that you're you're going to do well and you can hang your hat on, but you know, I, I think we'll get similar. I'm hoping we'll get similar production out of that, that position this year. And, and uh, John certainly has put the time and the effort in to make that happen. Uh, another place where we may get some good production, at least a numbers wise, what we saw last year, Reese Neville, Picked up 950 plus yards on the ground, 10 rushing touchdowns as well. So looks like you you can have a good mix there between the passing game and the rushing game. Yeah, you bet. You know, we really have a, a two headed rushing attack. You know, I mean, Colton McPhee will be a junior uh, or sophomore this year. Will um, you know we Reese missed a lot of time. You know, he had a broken ankle and a and a uh, and a turf toe. So you know, he played about 80 percent last year so we're hoping him at 100 percent is going to give even more production so he can play at that you know level that he really wants to play at and and you know we, we feel colton is right there as well and and again modern day football you know you got to have two guys back there at, at least in in your running back uh stable to to be able to continue to have a strong uh vertical uh, aggressive run game like like we do and and uh, the, again those guys have put the work in so the you know the uh we'll see what happens when the bullets start flying out on the field <laughs> well you like to hear hear a coach say that uh, that the guys have put the work in that's always encouraging we're here on midwest sports net uh previewing the 2022 college football season with montana western coach ryan norris and i encourage you please do like this video and subscribe to the channel it, it really does help a lot the bulldogs picked number 19 according to the nai preseason poll also picked at the top of the frontier conference preseason poll as well and we've been talking about some names on offense so let's talk about defense here coach really quickly and and you look i don't think any further at least to get started than Braden swank 
who was second on the team in tackles last year, 65 of those. But a number that stands out to me was 20 pass breakups. And I thought that is a high number. And sure enough, led the nation in that category as well. Yeah, Braden had a great freshman season for us last year. Um, again, guy who's put the time in and is uh, very uh, dedicated to his craft, high level of commitment. You know, our other corner, which is funny, Braden had all the stats. Our other corner had really similar stats and was first team all conference, Latrell McCutcheon. You know, he'll be coming into his senior season with us. So um, we're very strong at that position. We feel uh, confident um, and have a lot of trust in those two football players. And and we, we think we're going to get really high production out of those guys. And, and we're battling at safety. We got a lot of guys who um, – who want to play. So, you know, really the, this next week and a half is going to tell the tale on who's going to get their first shot game one. Coach, I, I know you have a, a lot of uh, players on, on that defensive line. Let me read off a couple of names here really quickly coming back. Uh, Reese Arts, T Tanner Harrell, Kenai Liua, Briar Munson, among others. And I know there are, there are more. Those mm -hmm. four alone combined for 37 tackles for loss and 14 and a half sacks. So uh, you, you have a defensive line that's going to be able to get into the opponent's backfield. Yeah, very strong unit. Again, and we were uh, same uh, type of format, I guess, for, for success. I mean, those guys are willing to do the work. You know, they're, they're high-level commitment guys so they're team guys and uh we're going to expect a lot out of that unit the one guy who kind of gets lost in that shuffle maybe doesn't have the stats but uh might be one of the more consistent players that we have is senior brandon ames back uh as well and we've got a few guys moving in there who are younger players who redshirted last year who are competing to play as well so it's a good it's a, a deep unit and a competitive unit that that we're going to really rely on this year coach the season gets underway very quickly and 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 i'm i mean you know just about three and a half weeks from now it's it's sure. not that far away august 27th you're on the road at carroll a tough place to play then but following mm -hmm. that september 3rd back at home against eastern oregon both of those first two games are frontier conference games and then at home on september 10th as well against dickinson state out of conference game but a quality opponent can you tell us about the opening to your season well, I think it's tough. I, I'm glad we've got two at home. You know, we had those two on the road um, last year. So that was a tough road stretch for us, but we were able to come away uh, with a strong victory at uh, at Dickinson State. And, and uh, I believe they're 11 in the country at that time uh, on their home field. Those guys are well coached and first class program and but going up to Helena first week in a you know good frontier conference rivalry game is um it is tough it's always tough it, it's playing on the roads hard and and but I I like the motivational factor out of it to, to going and playing a historical rival game one and doing it on the the road I I believe um you know, you need to th keep things going when you're going through fall camp. You know, it gets challenging and tough and and tiring, and to to have uh, yeah, to have that light at the end of that tunnel, knowing the the game that you're going to play, game one is gonna um, it's gonna be a big one, and it matters. You know, this is a football game that matters in Montana, and uh, we'll we'll play our best. <laughs> well, well, good luck to you, Coach, in that. And, and again, it does. You're right. It's it's a, a strong opening to the season. The Montana Western Bulldogs again picked atop the Frontier Conference preseason poll this year. Coach Ryan Norris, thank you so much for taking time with us today. We'll be following the Bulldogs this year, and we appreciate it. God bless you, sir. Thank you. All right. Thank you for covering us. We appreciate your time.